Welcome back to Arcade Garage. Uh, today we're going to be making a boost leak test device from shit you can get from Bunnings. I'm pretty sure everyone here is an Aussie viewer. Bunnings is a hardware store, a bit like what do they call it in America? Lowe's or I think Walmart sells some shit, but something like Lowe's and all that. Got a huge range of stuff here, gonna see what works best and return the shit I don't need. Also got some PVC pipe if I need to do it that way as well. So the reason we're doing this, if you guys have watched my couple of last recent videos, I was on the dyno, had a huge boost leak. I think the turbo was coming on about 1000 RPM later. And when I went on the dyno straight away, it was down 40 horsepower and a few PSI. So it was a leak. We did all the checks that we could find. Um, couldn't find anything. So we just tuned it as it was. Um, I'll find the leak, repair it and then put it back on my dyno because obviously I can't really drive it if it's making boost or earlier. It's not exactly tuned perfectly in that table. I could adjust it myself, but there's no point. I can just drive around normally and just save the power for once adjusting it by performance. Sorts it out. But uh, anyway, we'll get on to making it. All right, so I'm gonna do the air fitting on the uh, turbo intake side. So I've got this here, it's 100 mil to 90 mil reducer. Um, they didn't have any caps that fit in a straight 100 to 100 and in the piping they didn't have any any caps that fit either. The only thing I could get was one with a screw on bit. While it does have a, um, what do you call it, a rubber o-ring on it, I don't trust it. It'll be sealed enough so I just got this shit. But we'll do this side after now on the um, throttle body side we'll take it off the throttle body this will go into the silicon joiner cup or whatever you want to call it we'll go there and then um, this will just go on get glued on to block it off and it should be sealed so we'll do that all right we'll scratch that um, not doing the other side first Uh, 90 mil hose clamp is basically maxed out when I put it on the throttle body, so I thought 90 mil pipe will work, but uh, sure as hell it doesn't because this just slides straight in, so it looks like we're going to get 80 mil. Um, I have to go back to Bunnings and get some of that, but can return a shitload of stuff. So anyway, we'll get on to the, uh, the turbo side where I'm going to put a pressure gauge in and the air fitting using so I'll get the shit and we'll start to drill all this and whatnot and get it so it fits and hopefully is airtight. So that's threaded in. Like so. And just thread this in on the other side. And then just need to tighten it up. So I'll uh, get the tools to do that and be back in a second. Alright, got the shit to tighten it. Hopefully that's nice and airtight. Do it the other way with that O-ring. 
actually, now that I think about it. Alright, got this. Just gonna thread some of this shit on. Some fucking around, managed to get it done. So, pressure gauge, hose in it. I couldn't find a normal valve stem, I don't know if I said that earlier. So, hose will just go straight on. Got to block off valve air, so when I see it reaches the pressure I want it. So, I can just do that so it won't overfill it. So, I can just leave the compressor running and can run back and turn it off. It's just an adapter to screw in on the back and just a hose fitting. We'll go through that this screwed on. There probably would have been a proper thing for this, but it does the same thing, so what does it matter? Just cut a little slot there just so that the handle will close nice and fully. Doesn't look the neatest because I just use side cutters. I don't care as long as it's practical, so just whack it in this now and then we'll be pretty much done. Body tight. Cool. So that's that side all done. Uh, I'm going to have to cut the video here and come back another day when I've gone back to Bunnings to get the other side to block it off. But for now, that should do the job. So it's been a couple days. Got my turbo side, leak tester here, and uh, bits of fucking shit here. Hope I can get the clamp on this side. Over there, to test if it doesn't work, doing all that, but I'll return the rest of the shit I didn't need. Hopefully it's airtight. If it is, I'll paint it black so it looks a bit prettier. So that functionality. But, uh, I might set this GoPro up. Somewhere ish where you guys can see. I'll get that old. Get the air filter. Well, whatever you call it. Turbo guard off and get this on. Hopefully it fits on and get testing. Between 
Facebook notifications and shit. Standard. Well, didn't quite fit on nice, but it's a bit of force and it's staying on, so I guess I'll get the compressed air and we'll see how much leaks through the throttle body and whatnot. But uh compressor's going to be real noisy, so uh, for this bit, I guess I might just time lapse it all and so you guys don't have to hear all that. Oh yeah, I'll get it set up. So, since I couldn't find a tyre valve to whack on there, I'm just going to be feeding air in. I've got to uh, adjust the, the regulator. So, it's going to get noisy, but basically, you want to turn this so that it only sees the amount of pressure that you want to be putting in. So, I'm going to put about 30 psi in because that's about how much I'm going to run by the end of things. So, I'll turn it on and adjust it all. Alright, that's adjusted. The camera. Kind of in the right area. stay on to try rig something up well may have found my leak i think it's coming from the back of a compressor housing big bubble there If you guys can see that on camera, but uh, see how many leaks I can find so far. So I'll tighten them up and have a test.
this one's just spinning. Compressor housing might be fucked. Yep, just get just goes loose. I think that's it. After all that, that's what it is. She ain't going any tighter. Right, that's going to be all from me for this one. I can't really fix that. Um, I'm just going to pack up all the stuff and probably take the comp cover off and have a proper look at it and see what's going on. But that's a shame. But anyway, here's what it is. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one, which will be a much better video, hopefully. Catch you later.